I'm Josh Nathnagel from the Olympian. The Associate Students of Olympic College hosted a forum in the Bremer Student Center today, giving the five students running for Executive Vice President an opportunity to reach students before tomorrow's special election. An election is required to fill the number two student leadership spot, which was initially vacated February 9th when Travis Thomas was promoted to replace the ousted ASOC President. Thomas resigned less than three weeks later, and the Vice President of Paulsbo was promoted to the top spot. When we started the school year, we didn't expect any of this. We expected to go through as a team, we just got together. The turnaround rate in the student government is, is, is crucial. It hurts, and at the same time, it gives new ideas. Getting involved is not the hard part. It's about, do you want to stay involved? The original plan for today was to get, the, the, you know, get people to notice that there's an election tomorrow. So as far as the plan working today, it worked successfully in some parts. In some parts, it didn't work successfully. The importance of the student vote to me is not just voting in the next executive vice president. It's being able to have the involvement of the students. It shows that students actually care about their school instead of just going to college, just going to classes, and that's it. We want every student to be involved in their voting sessions. Students are, are noticing and aware now. So if we get more students involved and pay attention to what's going on, then they'll be able to say, this is the person I voted in. It was also announced at the forum that applications for the vice president of student affairs are now being accepted. The student government chose not to hold an election for that spot and opted instead to replace Giovanni Salas, who resigned February 10th to spend more time with his family, by appointing an applicant. Thank you. Check the Olympians' Facebook and website for more.